Following the release of Osprey Approach, we're proud to present our new Osprey Approach Word Add-in. The new Osprey Approach Word Add-in will allow you to perform all of your document-related tasks, such as checking out, checking in, running and saving, through Word across the following platforms. Let's install the add-in. Navigate to the Insert tab and select the Microsoft Store. Search for Osprey and select Add to install your add-in. It's that simple. Now enter your details and sign in. You may expand the add-in if you wish. Once installed locally, the add-in will operate on your installed copy of Microsoft Word, as well as appearing when using Word online. Alternatively, you can install the add-in directly to Word Online by using the Office Add-ins area of the Insert tab. Now search for the Osprey add-in as previously described and select Add. We've now signed in using Word through Google Chrome. Once logged in, you'll be able to save a document currently being worked on to a specific matter. You can run a document on a matter, or you can check out a document from a particular matter history. These features can also be used with your general file system. The add-in will also allow you to run workflows through Word. If you wish to save the document currently being worked on into Osprey Approach, simply select Save Current Document to Matter. The App Wizard will display the progress of the task being performed. You may search by client a matter number, description and surname, or use the advanced search for more filters. Scroll down to view further options. Once you're happy with the filters entered, click Search. Clicking on a column heading will sort the results in ascending or descending order. Use the scroll bar to view more columns if required. Click to select the matter. The Save As screen gives you all of the options you'd expect. Untick the automatic time record box to manually enter any time recording details. Again, you can scroll down to view further options. Once the relevant details have been entered, you can now save your document using the appropriate button. You'll be notified when the save is successful. Now let's run a document from Osprey Approach. As before, the wizard will display the progress of the selected action and you still have the basic and advanced searches available. Search for the relevant matter and left click. If you know the description of a document, enter it here and click search. Untick the include global box to remove any global documents from the list. Now select a template to run. The document is now available for editing. 
As before, the same saving options are available, as well as the option to select automatic or manual time recording. Again, you'll be notified when the save is successful. Now let's check out a matter history document. As before, the wizard and search options are available. Now search for and select your matter. This will now access the matter history. You have the option to filter by detail. There's also a date filter available. Select the option relevant to your search. Digging search by content will allow you to enter a keyword present in the main body of a document to filter by. And select the document you wish to check out. You may enter a comment at this stage if you wish. Select Check Out to continue to the document. When you finish the document, enter a comment and then click Save to check your document back in. Again, you'll be notified when the save is successful. As mentioned previously, the same actions are available for the general file system. You can save a document to the file system, run a letter on the file system, or check out a document from the file system. We will now look at running a workflow using the add-in. As before, the wizard and search options are available. Now search for and select your matter. You can now load a workflow from Osprey. You can load a workflow at a certain position, or you can remove a workflow. Select Collapse Expand to display or hide the content of each workflow task. Tick this box to display any client level workflows. Select the chevron to expand only the selected task. If you don't wish to run a specific action, untick the corresponding checkbox. Select this arrow to run the task. The document linked to this task has now opened. Enter the relevant details in the side menu and choose to automatically or manually time record. You can then save the document into the matter history. Again, you'll be notified when the save is successful. If there are no more actions to run for this task, you'll be notified that the task is completed. Select the End Task button to return to the workflow. Tasks that have been completed will be displayed in green. Thank you for watching.